So there she is. There she is. Um, <clears throat> I'm really excited. Uh, 65 Cutlass. Uh, I have the grill. Uh, I gotta go pick up the bumper. Um, I got another fender. This one's got Bondo and shit all over it. Um, car is pretty fucking solid. Um, to my standards, you know, I like these, these shells of cars. Um, but this one is, uh, uh, let's see if I get this off. This one's pretty solid. Um, he, the guy I got it from, old man I got it from, he had the uh, core support powder coated. Uh, it's supposed to be a, we'll do, I'll have to look it up, but something going on with the steering, um, the steering box is supposed to be like a quick ratio or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty solid. Uh, everything that I like is here. Um, definitely probably gonna go hydro boost on the brakes. Uh, I got I got the windshield wiper motor. I got the cover for the heater box. I even, even got a brand new heater core. Um, of course, I'm gonna change out all the suspension. I'm gonna do a tubular and um, coil over so I can adjust my height because I'm gonna try to put some big wheels on this car and get it lowered real nice. Um, show the other side. The sun ain't too bad. The floors in here are really nice. Uh, no rust on the floors. No rust on the floors. Uh, you know, this guy was a collector and stuff. This is just like a few little books. This man has so much stuff, it's ridiculous. I don't know who that twig is for. Um, but yeah. I got a bunch of extra stuff, got a bunch of trim. Look at the dash, look at that. Oh, immaculate. Real nice. I uh, got a radio I'm gonna drop in here just for the looks. Um, let's see. The trunk had a little bit of get this one. Oh. There go. Uh, that's the original color um, as you see right here on the back with that lazy ass paint job where they paint under certain stuff but the trunk is pretty solid It does have that. That's probably one of the major issues, but I guess the old man was gonna cut it out. I uh, think I might do the same. Cut it out and then reform this shape. Put it back in, tack it in, and tack, uh, weld this part back to the bottom, but I'll see. Um, parts, this is bumper stuff. Got a couple horns in there. Go to heater core. Got some, uh, what is it? wire, this is the engine wiring harness. Uh, might use that, might have to get an aftermarket one. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It don't look bad though. I could, I do have um, the pins to uh, pop these out if I want to change any of the wires out. Actually, I don't have those pins, but I can get them. I want to modify a stock harness. Uh, I'm doing LS, so we'll see how far I get with that. Uh, there go the heater box, some more stuff, just more uh, trim and whatnot. I got the tail lights, uh, which are in pretty good condition. There go the grill. Tail light. Um, I've got a lot of stuff, uh, like if I wanted to restore the car. I don't know how much I want to restore. There, uh, a mirror, good, good quality mirror. Um, 
some stuff. It's an ashtray. This dude had a whole bunch of stuff. He was trying to convert it to a 442, so I got 442 badges. Um, I even have the side ones that are really expensive. Uh, but really solid car. Really solid. Uh, for, got it for a good deal, I think. Um, got to straighten out this garage. Uh, make room for all the parts. Uh, I don't know if I put everything on this shelf or move all that stuff out the corner and do a cutlass shelf. Just do a cutlass shelf and that'll be the cougar shelf. Um, Cause you know, the cougar is still in here. And then I have other parts. Here's some more stuff. I got stuff on the side of the house. Um, brand new radiator for the car. So, uh, it's gonna be pretty solid. Uh, I got an LS, I got a 5.3. I'm not sure if I'm gonna enjoy a 5.3 in that car. Uh, I might go 6.0, so we shall see, we shall see.